Let's play the outer world. Okay, so we're back in Edgewater. Um, for the power being off, there seems to be a lot of lights. <laughs> oh, I wonder what the hell that was then. There's a spaceship. Oh no. Okay, so this is Return to Medicine. Where is everybody? It's a bit quiet. Let's go see. <laughs> Where is he? Is he in that building? He must be in this building. Hey, I need to talk to you. Who? Who needs to talk to me? What? Where are we headed? What? Is that all you're going to say? So I guess it's you I'm supposed to talk to, Martin Abernathy. Just as I was on the men, the cannery had to go and shut down. He's the same as Higgins. Let's see it. Don't keep us waiting. He is the same as Higgins. I haven't decided what I'm doing with it yet. Haven't decided? I hired you. The nature of your employment requires you to deliver in my hand some genuine anthracillin. Uh -huh. Um. Okay. Sweet life-given nostrum. Well, yeah, whatever. Dude. Always the best. Scratch together all the bits I had around the domicile. Uh it ain't as much as you deserve, but it's all I got. Okay, around the domicile. Not true. You, you've got a secret. Secrets aren't free. Let's go for that one. Whatever it is. You really sprat me out? For what? A couple of extra bits? Here, take it then. Okay, thank you. I'll uh, see you around when you've got more money, okay? Level up six. Oh, whoopee, six. What's that one for? Reed Thompson. Oh, good grief. We've got to go see him. Have you got anything to say? Where are we headed? Where are we headed? That's all you've got to keep saying. Okay. Because <laughs> you've no idea. Let's just do the... Um... Okay, let's go see the vicar now. Do finish another job, hopefully, off. Although, why these people are still here, if there's no power, I don't know. Hang on, which way are we going? We've got to go that way. Fool. Okay. What's that? Esther Blaze. We don't want that one. Who are you? They've got names. Ooh. Hello, the cannery's closed. <laughs> Residents. Let's just not talk to them. They might hate me because I turned the power off. Mind you, they might not know. I don't know not know it was me. <laughs> I don't know. Right, let's go and see the vicar. Hello, Vic. How are you doing? Got a prezi for you. Before you leave town. Talk. All the lights in town went out. Did they? Since then, I've had wild-eyed workers begging my guidance. Oh. I'm surprised you would go along with this action, Ms. Holcomb. Which action? I'm not sure what the right and wrong of it is, sir. But leaving the deserters with neither walls nor lights would have left them to the mercy of marauders. Yeah, marauders. Let's hope walls alone are sufficient then. Yeah, okay. These people are sick and overworked. Things had to change. There we go. Oh, inarguably. This town was a pustule on the ass of the architect. Uh, metaphorically speaking. Hmm. You took or it upon yourself to decide the fate of strangers. I don't know whether that's confidence or arrogance. Arrogance, By definitely. Way, I'm fascinated. He's fascinated. I've got your book. How did you know I'm an outsider? Well, a stupid question, isn't it? What sort of spiritual advice do you offer here? I just saw something I need to be good. Oh, no, wait. I got your book. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Uh, is this... French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> it's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha! I was so high and mighty preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn. Uh-huh. I don't think he's happy for some reason. You didn't want that book to... You didn't want them to keep others from reading it. You're overreacting a bit, don't you think? Okay. Over... Overreacting? 
Do you have any idea how many years I spent in... <laughs> no. You couldn't possibly know, could you? Of course I couldn't. I've only I've played it for a few weeks. searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. What? I had hoped this book held some of those answers. It does. I it's just so in French. I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Wasted. Good. Glad to know. At least you still have your mission work. <laughs> Give you life meaning per... Go on, Ed. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. Yeah, you're right. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. Uh, but that's neither uh -huh. here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. Really? You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. You probably could, but what's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, oh, someone whoopee. to watch your back. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. A grown-up? I'm 28. Exactly. <laughs> I'm pretty handy with a toss ball stick. Or any blunt instrument, really. I'm pretty handy. Okay, I'm well, I'm also it's... a passable gun hand, if it comes to that. All right, I can yeah. usually talk my way out of conflict, though. All right, we'll take you. Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. All right, then. Sounds good. Let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order, and I'll catch up with you. All right. Edgewater's going to miss you. Folk no, here always not. had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Miss Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery, and to leave this place behind. I shall I'm glad see you kill on the ship, now. Captain. <laughs> whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Okay. Whenever we're ready. Are we ready yet? Who knows? Now what's that? Reed Thompson. Why do I need to go and see Reed Thompson? Okay, we've got a few side quests, but the only one left here is Reed Thompson. I guess we're going to have to see him. He's a bit pissed off, obviously. Um, you know, because I just turned his lights out. <laughs> There's all the cannery workers. We're trying to work in the dark. Is um, Reed hiding in there? Mr. Thompson is aware of your concerns and remains committed to guiding Edgewater into prosperity. Is that the copper? Well, that's the copper. I put my whole life in that cannery. You must be very proud. <laughs> oh, it's you. Reed told me I should be expecting you. He's inside. Thanks. Goodbye. Okay, so uh, she doesn't want to talk. He's over there. Uh, but do we want to go over there? Or should we go this way? Sealed? Why is it sealed? No power, I guess. Sealed. Everything is sealed. It's sealed. Right. Uh, nothing else seems to be working. Right, I've done those. So I've got to go and see the old git over here. Phyllis Granger. You picked a fine time to visit, stranger. I did, did I? I'd like to talk to you about Eugene. Who's Eugene? I paid his burial fees, didn't I? Let the dead sleep. Oh, okay. I found your letter to Conrad. Didn't anyone ever tell you not to go rifling through other people's correspondence? No. You're planning on stealing Eugene's gold teeth. Excuse you. Eugene's body and all rare earth minerals contained therein already belong to Spacer's Choice. And we're all part of the Spacer's Choice family here. Never mind. I don't have to explain myself to you. You want to bet? Okay, she's gone. Can I kill her now? If I shoot her in the head? Nope, she doesn't want that. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants a bullet in the brain. Now, if this place is now empty, is there anything left to steal? Because it was loads of shit. But of course there were too many people wandering around. That one's empty. Still 
steel kick me sign. Okay. Why well, rather than that? I'll pin it on his back. <laughs> steal the kick me sign. There's a big alarm going off here, so you know. Sealed. All the doors are definitely sealed. Um, it must be because there's no bloody power. See, what have you done? You've no idea. Right, let's go and see uh, Mr. Boss's face, his name. He's over that way. If I can find somewhere to turn that way. Is this it? There's some rats or sprats. Okay, nothing there. That's outside. Well, I could have come in this way then, couldn't I? I guess you're going to be sealed as well. All the doors are sealed. Is he hanging? He's going to commit suicide. There he is. Can I just shoot him from here? <laughs> yep. You want to know what gets my bile churning? No. Edgewater has suffered a cavalcade of disasters. Plague, marauders, desertion. Then you wandered in town. And I was so damn sure our luck was starting to turn. It means... I never knew how right I was. Just answer one question for me. Why'd you do it? Don't know. A whim. I don't know you in any explanation. I do. You're right. I put the fate of our town in the hands of some feckless transient. This is my fault. And all Edgewater's pain for my mistake. Yeah, you're right. Whatever you were hoping to find down here, I advise you to turn around and leave. I have got guards posted with orders to fire on you. Oh, great. Okay, let's, um... Oh, look, I can't have that one. Damn you. All right. Apologies won't give us our lives back. But for what it's worth, I am sorry too. Yeah, can I shoot you now? Edgewater's dead. Our cannery's dead. Adelaide's deserters are never coming back. Well, that was the idea, wasn't it? Space's choice will shut us down before long. Some of us will die of illness by then. Some will move on. Some will starve. Good. You didn't let you starve in. I will tender my resignation. Whereupon I shall be processed and then duly imprisoned for gross incompetence. Sounds like a good plan. Or I could just shoot you. He's going. Oh, goodbye. So, we'll just leave him there then. Um, now what was the next? There's the uh, power regulator I need. Of course, the trick is to get out of town afterwards. I guess. Oh. Here they come! Quick, Bills! Good grief. Is that it? There was only the three. Nope, there's somebody else. What, what do you mean everybody all right? Wait, I want to see if that body actually vanishes. Yeah, that gun kills... Well, it just leaves a pile of ash. Okay, well, we'll take the bits out of the ash. <laughs> That's each of smoke. <laughs> we'll take you as well. Anybody else down here? Are all these guards now dead? That was a lot easier than it looked, for some reason. I suppose they're better than the robots. Uh, easier than the robots, I should say. Um, okay. Still got the alarm going here. I need this regulator. There's no bloody power, so why can't I just take it? I can. Okay, that's the regulator. Finally, I might be able to uh, 
Return to the unreliable. Oh, right, return back to my ship. Yeah, of course, that's called unreliable. <laughs> unreliable. Let me just uh, do my power-ups. Okay, I'm supposed to return to the unreliable. But I've still got open jobs. So we're going to go off and see uh, Ludwig. Oh, we still got Parvati, okay. Um, and then this got to be opened or can't be opened yet? That's, I did that last time, but I better check it. You never know, it may have filled up. No, it hasn't. Okay. Let's go and find Ludwig. What, out here? Oh, sealed. No, we can't have that. Oh, where's the damn door? There's a door. Let's sneak past the policeman. <laughs> Because they could be annoyed. He's out here. Right, well, we'll go out here then. Let's go and find Ludwig. The other mental case in bloody Emmervale. Emmer, Emmervale. <laughs> right, let's go and find uh, good old Ludwig. I've no idea where he is. He's round the other side, isn't he? Of course he is, you stupid boy. Wait, why is he through that door? We should have gone through that door. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to walk all the way round. Well, or we'll run. We could run. Don't know how long he runs for. Is there a limit? Loads of graves. Whoa! Running away now. <laughs> oh dear, dear, dear. Hang on, where is it? Over here, really. Ludwig Miller. He's down at the docks. He's a crazy dude. Not as crazy as Higgins. Oh crap. Whoa! We're gonna break my legs! Oh I knew it. Right. Pills. Okay, so what have we got? What's that? Don't know. We well, don't care anyway. Ludwig! Why are you in there? What are you doing in there? Talk. Town's been dark a while now. Could be a mechanical trying to sabotage us. Yeah, it is. It wasn't me. <laughs> a logic module. I found one in the geothermal plant. Bang up work, soldier. You're a credit to your uniform. I know. Oh, that reminds me. Gotta look into getting us a uniform. What? Oh, this is it then. The key to humanity's victory over the mechanical horde. I would reward you with the gratitude of the resistance, but I'm guessing you want something tactile. Money, give me. So here's a couple of bits for your trouble. Thanks. And a little something to remember me by. Ah, oh, good, a photo of him in his underpants. Lovely! <laughs> okay. <laughs> now there's a workbench here, which we're not going to use yet. Um, he's left the building. I believe everything's been taken out of here, so we're off. Let's find out the next tidy up job. Okay, so we're going to go and find a Gwillem, who seems to be 400 bloody miles away. Same as no quicker way of getting there. Well, it might be for all I know. Let's go see. Get as far as we can here. In fact, I'll um, skip a bit forward. Okay, if we come across campsite, let's just pick everything out of here because it's always worth picking and selling all the crap anyway. Anything on I you? Can you can handle it, can you? Uh, why was he alive? I thought he was dead. Okay, he's dead now. <laughs> There's another one. Oh God, what are they? Damn, attacked by but I don't know, pterodactyl rooks. No. <laughs> beak. We take the beak of the pterodactyl. Uh, we've done that one. We've killed this one as well. Well, she probably killed that one. He has nothing on him. Oops, more, more crap. We'll take the crap. Okay, so there you have it. Now we need to get to... Willem still. He's still 300 miles away. Let me just save. Okay, we've come across another couple of marauders here. 
Um, so we're just going to sort these buggers out. Shouldn't take too long. Stop. Okay, drug me! Alright, let's pinch your pockets. Is that all everybody? Oh, great. Uh, there's still something in that box, so we'll grab him as well. There's he. So we will grab that as well. Okay. Where's the third body though? That's the trouble. That is the main problem. The bodies lie down. Is that him? Once they lie down, you can never find them. He's dead. Okay. Right. Let's just search in here. Hello. We we'll take some more crap. Thanks. Right. Onwards. Okay, we're closing a gap. He looks like he may be in this building. Well, there's a robot attack somebody there. So we'll have the bits. There's a body. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Nothing there. Uh, we are still being a bit cautious here. Because we've no idea what the hell he's going to do. He's bound to be... He's a... Obviously a marauder. There's a marauder there. But that's not the one we want. <laughs> I see his leg go flying there. Here he is. Quick pills! Oh, you bugger. They went down quite fast. Okay, well, I did die. <laughs> and now, at least we know what's going to happen. <laughs> I could die fairly easy. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. Yeah, well, we're out here this far, so you know me. Let's go the other side, just to, you know, ruin our chances more. Crap! Bombs! Well, where do all they come from? I didn't put them there. We take that. Uh, I seem to be fuzzy. Okay. Where has he gone? That's a cane head. I guess we're going to um. Where's Gwillem? He's in there. Okay, well we got no choice but to go full throttle. So... Oh, you bitch! <laughs> Look at the state of these peoples. Oh! 
Wait, I'm gonna die! Quick, take some pills! Use my other... Oh, no! Oh, bloody hell! I died! Again! Okay, so that's two lots of deaths. And it's not safe to go either side. Let's just reload this bugger. It only carries six at a time, which is not nice. Um, I think we're a bit better off this way round. For some silly reason. Um, because now I can't see anything. There should be someone coming into view soon, surely. Because they, they're mean and horrible. Well, there's one. Right, let's go shoot his damn ass. Loads of them. Oh, that was a nice one. You're dying! Will you bloody stop dying? Take more pills! Jesus, bloody crept. Crept? I mean wept. More pills, please. Who's that? Sod you, you bitch. More pills. Anybody left? Everyone all right? Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. Is that everybody dead, though? <laughs> Ooh! What's Cynophobia? No idea. Accept. Reward, one perk. Let's just update. Okay. Let's just search all these bodies. Hopefully one of them's Gwillem. This is him here. Hello, Gwillem. I'll take your finger, please. Thank you very much. Now, all these bodies would be dead. Not dead. I mean, they are dead, but I mean... I can get bits off them. If they got any, that is. Because there's loads of bloody bodies. Where did they all come from? I don't remember that many. Canide meat. So, uh, are you all dead? Anybody else? Did she s vaporize anybody? Because you can't tell with that bloody sword. That's why I gave it to her. It didn't matter. <laughs> um, didn't he? Yeah, yeah, I killed him. He took ages to die and he's got Lee's armor on. I think. Wait, wasn't there something around here? Oh, the machine. Now, this is full of bombs, wasn't it? We don't want to go that way. Not particularly. So. Um, just change the gun a minute. Let's get rid of this. Oh, no. <laughs> I want a gun, not... Okay, that's that one gone. I need the bits, basically. You've got nothing. Wait, was there another bomb? Over there. I can see it. Okay. Just blow everything up. It's easier. What's down here? Oh, look, a box. We'll take you. Okay, so we've got Gwillem's finger. Uh, let's just blow everything up we got here because, you know, <laughs> gets in the way otherwise. And fill it with walking on them. And get killed it for no good reason. What? Wait, what's that? Oh, we've got to go back to the cop, haven't we? Yeah, she's not going to be very happy, but okay. What's in here? Oh, hello. We'll take it. Go left. Or right. I don't care. Is that open? Is that outside? Well, we'll leave you open. Nothing in there. Something in there. Another bloody robot. Well, it did some mechanical damage. Or 
Okay, nothing, 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 nothing. And pick it. Open. Anything in here? Oh. Bypass shunt. No bloody light though. I can't see a damn thing. Take that. And that one. Oh, missed it. That one. And that one. Anything over here? A big box. Am I going to be too heavy? Oh god, I hate being heavy. So you're all done. Um, <laughs> Adreno. What are you? Zoe! Wait! Wait, Zoe! Wait for me! <laughs> Hello, Zoe! Wow! You put those marauders in the dirt quicker than the mass marketeer. Did I? Teach me your ways. Teach you your ways? Well, uh, you're Zoe. Your people are looking for you. You sound confused or possibly unscrewed. Well, will use that one. Only thing unscrewed around here is the head of that marauder you took down. Never seen moves like that outside my serial dramas. Yes. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. I guess you're another companion, are you? Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. All right. I'm great at clarifying. <laughs> yeah, what, well, butter? Are you a prisoner here? How are you even alive? Why did you leave? There was something else. No. Why did you leave? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. Okay. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, okay. what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck <laughs> with them. <laughs> okay. Are you a prisoner? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. One whit? Okay, I'm impressed. How'd you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but... I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Hmm. Um, okay. Was there something else? I've got all the time in Halcyon. You should go back. People are worried. Yeah, go on. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. Hmm, what about Stefani? You two were friends. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. I'll okay. take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace okay. is going to be glaring Convince knives Zoe at me. To return. I've got job that is to look forward done. to. Return to Grace? Who's Grace? Oh, crap. I don't know. Take care. Bye-bye. Can I shoot you? <laughs> no. All right. So, mm. okay. So most of the jobs are now tidied up. I went in there. Don't be greedy. Uh, oh, bum! Straight over a bloody bomb. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you know, these damn bloody bombs everywhere. I've now got. What now? What's she firing at? Where? Over that way, somewhere. Just there. It's a marauder, I think. He's not marauding any longer. Okay, he's down. Let's search his pockets, I guess. Has he got anything? He has got nothing on him. Well, that's just 
dandy. Shoot that. No, he won't burn. Okay, so, um, what are we supposed to be doing? Oh, we're supposed to be going back to the cop. Now. Okay, so we're going to head off back to the copper. And, uh, I'll see you next time.